Okay, so here we found some more easy dark elixirs right there. Uh, we could use our minions to get it. Uh, there's probably Teslas right there guarding that dark elixir storage. Uh, let's start by remo removing those army camps. That clan castle is out of range, so we don't have to worry about that. And then uh, we're gonna spread our barbarians. Send out two wall breakers, because they're gonna open that wall. I'm not gonna send out any minions. Let's just uh, save them, because they do cost dark elixir and I don't need them. Actually, let's just go for a few minions because this way I can quickly get that Dark Elixir Storage. As you can see, those archers died from the mortar damage and then the uh, minions were able to take the Dark Elixir Storage. So that was quick a quick grab of Dark Elixir. So let's end it there. 1200 Dark Elixir, perfect. <laughs> Check this out. We have a Town Hall right on the outside right here. And we have some loaded Dark Elixir inside these level 6 drills. So we're going to go for it, definitely. Uh, let's go for these two barracks on the sides, sides first and then send in the rest of the barbarians here and archers behind them. Have them go for that dark elixir drill. Have some more barbarians in front of those archers to distract the mortars. Okay, perfect. We've taken that drill. Now let's go for this one. Uh, spread out my barbarians a little, archers a little to completely distract, not distract, uh, yeah, to distract the mortar. So here, archers are gonna go for that Dark Elixir drill. Perfect, and we'll just head out with that Town Hall so we don't lose too many trophies. Well, we don't lose any trophies. Activate the King's ability, and we'll head out there. Perfect, so we got 1262. Okay, here we have a Town Hall 9 with a centralized Dark Elixir storage and uh, two heroes, the Archer Queen and the Barbarian King guarding it. But I'm gonna attack it, and the reason I'm gonna attack it is because uh, of the level of defenses. They're very weak. As you can see, Town Hall 8 level defenses. So it shouldn't be too hard for me to get it. So let's start. I'm gonna start off by removing those army camps, of course. You guys know how I like to raid. <laughs> Remove those army camps out of the way, and also test for the Clan Castle. I I'm pretty sure there are Clan Castle troops in there. Cause it is a level 8 cl clan. Oh, looks like there aren't any. Let me just double check just to be safe. Yeah, there's nothing inside that clan castle. Okay, perfect. It's gonna make things, it's gonna make life easier. Now I'm gonna spread out my barbarians, open up the first layer of walls with the wall breakers, and I'm gonna use a jump spell uh, to have my giants all run straight inside the core. Let's send in our king. He hasn't been in too much action lately, so we're going to send him in as well. And we're going to use a raid spell right here to have them all jumping inside that core and take that town hall and also uh, go for the dark elixir storage, of course. Both of them have dark elixir in them. And let's see, let's see. Should we just end it there after we get that dark elixir? Well, my queen is still safe. She's still safely guarded. We're at 34%, we're not going to get 50%, so let's just head out here, uh, keep them at full health. So we're going to end it there with 2500 Dark Elixir, yeah. Okay, here we have 2500 Dark Elixir, and it's fairly easy to get. Um, no jump spell though, so let's see. Hmm. Okay, we can attack from the south and have our Archer Queen move towards the right to get to that Dark Elixir, so uh, it's going to require a bit more work. And that clan castle is also unlurable. Let's check if there's anything inside. Mm, hopefully, yeah, past the trigger radius. Uh, there was four balloons in there. Probably five of them. Can't really tell, but maybe I missed uh, luring one, one of them out, but not going to be a problem. So we're just going to kill those balloons. And then I'm going to start by attacking from this side. I'm going to break in from this side and have my giants... Uh, run off towards the right as I'll show you right now um, First I'm going to create that space of course Okay, we have some bombs here. Let's check the outside here. Okay, no more bombs So we're gonna create that space spread our barbarians here and then uh, send out our giants and also open up the first layer of walls spread more barbarians and archers and here we're gonna send our queen in and watch where the giants go. The giants are gonna move towards the right because of those defenses. And here we're gonna use a heal spell to keep those uh, giants at good health. 
And yeah, I did miss uh, two balloons. Okay, but that's that's okay. It's not gonna be a problem. Um, archers should be able to pretty easily take it out. And let's open up some walls. See if we can assist our. <laughs> oh no, those wall breakers went that way. Okay, that's fine though. Look at our archer queen. She's uh she's done what we've wanted her to do, and that's to go towards the right with those giants to get that uh, dark elixir storage. So let's see. Should we? Should we end it here or should we keep going? Okay, no, our Archer Queen's getting targeted, so we're gonna end it there. Uh, so 2100 Dark Elixir, nice. Okay, here we have a very challenging Town Hall 10, 11 base uh, with the Dark Elixir storage right here, but I do like challenges, so I'm gonna attack this base. Shouldn't be too difficult though. Uh, some of the defenses here are upgrading. So let's see, let's see, what's our plan gonna be? We're gonna need, need another wall breaker to open up that wall since it's a level 12 wall. Okay, so our plan is our plan's gonna be to uh, break inside here, uh, get our Arch Queen right here, and just target that Dark Elixir storage. And uh, our biggest threat is gonna be that Clan Castle since uh, we can't lure it. So we're gonna have to attack head on. So spread our giants here, spread barbarians. Don't have to worry about splash damage, so that's great. No mortar in range. And then we're gonna send out four wall breakers since it is a level 12 wall. So all four of them are needed to open up that wall. And uh, here we have the clan castle. It has archers in there, so not a problem. Just use poison. And uh, should be pretty easy for my archer queen and all those archers to steal that dark elixir storage. So here we have the archer queen targeting. Uh, king is getting harmed, so we're gonna activate his ability. Looks like we lost the king, but we're gonna end it there And we're gonna get around 2400 dark elixir pretty easily from this town hall 11 base nice Okay, nice pretty easy to get dark elixir storage right here uh, So let's see where's the clan castle. It's right there. Um Let's try to get that dark elixir storage without triggering that clan castle by using our uh, five tile range of our archer queen we're gonna have to spread a bunch of archers here and then use a few uh, giants to shield for the archer queen. And let's see, let's see, let's have her go for that elixir storage. Nice. Okay, perfect. So now she's targeted the dark elixir storage, and we're just gonna head out here. We're not gonna go for anything else uh, at the cost of 18 trophies. Worth it. 2000 dark elixir. Okay, here we have a pretty intimidating looking Town Hall 9 base, but it's actually not intimidating at all because of the level of defenses. They're like Town Hall 8 level. Uh, it's only intimidating because of the size of the base, it looks really big. Uh, but it should be pretty easy to, easy to get, that Dark Elixir should be pretty easy. Uh, the Archer Queen can target it over the walls, so let's go for it. Um, hmm. There is a ring here, and it's gonna have my Giants traveling around. But that's really not a problem because my Archer Queen can still target that uh, Dark Elixir storage over the wall. So I'm going to attack from this side. This way I can get both the Town Hall and the Dark Elixir storage. So let's open up this wall. Two wall breakers and let's see here. Yeah, that's all we're going to do. Actually, um, let's open up this wall. And the reason I'm going to open up that wall and this wall is so that I can have my uh, last two, remaining two wall breakers go straight for the core walls, as I'll show you. So here I'm going to spread out my giants, and then have uh, barbarians and archers behind them, and have my archer queen there. Uh, gonna send out everything, and uh, wait for the splash damage from the mortar. And now I'm going to place a uh, rage, and you can see my wall breakers right there. Boom! They went straight for the core walls. Awesome! And uh, we have skeleton traps over there. Not a problem, and as you can see, my Archer Queen's gonna make it straight inside, and uh, just as I told you guys, my Giants are gonna run across the base, which is not a problem because uh, they're still uh, shielding all the, shielding my Archers and Archer Queen from all the damage. So it's all good, everything is good here. So we got the Town Hall, Dark Elixir Storage, uh, we got 50% damage, let's see if we can get in any more damage for some extra loot bonus. So we're now at 58% and my Archer Queen is right at the middle of the base and we have a lot of defenses that are out of range to even touch her. Uh, so she's still going uh, 62% and now she's getting targeted so we're just going to end it here. 
so 64% and we got around 2700 Dark Elixir in total. Awesome. Okay, that will be it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you guys again soon in the next episode. Later. Peace.